Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the What's Cooking Wednesday here at Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a different small appliance to use today. If you, you caught the theme the past couple weeks, we've been working through recipes based on items that you might have gotten to cook with for Christmas. Basically, yeah. So In we did Instant Pot. The sous vide last week. Um, and now I think the other big item that you would get for the kitchen would be an air fryer. Mm. I know. I did also have a, a request for an air fryer recipe. Yep. So here we go. Yeah, and this one's pretty quick and easy. Not too many steps, not too many ingredients, which is always a winner in my book. It's, it's also a good keto recipe. That is true. It's also a good recipe to adapt to just use in the oven or the barbecue pit. Yep. So you want to tell them what it is? We're going to, this one's called Hasselback Chicken. Now, if you know the Hasselback potatoes where you take them, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Because yep. if you don't, I do. She's going to show you anyway. So it's chicken, bacon, and cheese. Fabulous. And that's it. Can't go wrong. I'm going to let her take over. All right, let's put this together. All right, we've got a fairly small air fryer basket, so I think I'm only going to be able to get two in here at a time. So we're gonna, I'll show you how to start with these two chicken breasts. We're going to make several slices across it, about three quarters of the way through. So just so there's just enough there holding it all together. I'm going to use Swiss. You can use whatever cheese you like. But I thought this one would add a nice flavor. A little bit of a chicken cordon bleu kind of style. Which I would actually be really good if you used ham instead of bacon. That could work. And then cut our bacon roughly to the size of your chicken there we go all right let's build this thing Into each hole, we're gonna put one slice of bacon, one slice of cheese. All right, and that's the way the first one looks. Give it a quick spray. and repeat with the second one. Right. Check it out, number two going in. All right, before we pop them in to cook, we're gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of this Montreal chicken seasoning. It's a really good overall, all around seasoning. All right, and it goes. All right, we're gonna hit the power. Up the temp to 380, and we're gonna go for about 25 minutes. And then give it a check. We might even check this closer to about the 20 minute mark just to see how well it's cooking. Might need to swap them around a bit, switch side to side. But here it goes. Start. All right, the remainder I'm actually gonna go ahead and put in the oven and we'll compare how long they take to cook. Be right back. All right, my timer shows about three minutes left. We're only at 138 in the center. I'm gonna bump the timer up a little bit. These are looking and smelling delicious though. So let's keep going. All right, our timer just went off. 
these look pretty darn good all right these are 160 right now the smaller ones are actually perfectly temperatured so we're gonna let this one rest a few minutes and it should come up those last five degrees and then we will give these a taste oh those look good yeah let's get them out of here and Dang. on a plate they smell delicious Ooh, a little bit stuck Probably a lot of cheese oozing out. Right. I did so spray it, but it came out. I needed a little bit more, I guess. There we go. Yes. Man, those look great. Oh, those look fabulous. So good. Those ended up being 32 minutes in the air fryer at 380 degrees. They are cooked beautifully. Now I gotta show you this. I showed you that I did the others in the oven, right? Those don't look nearly as good. <laughs> Here we go. 32 minutes at 380 in the oven. Those look sick compared to the others. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish these off in the air fryer. Yep. Those just did not cook the same. They're the bacon, Bleh. the bacon didn't handle the same. The Ooh, cheese look. didn't handle the same. Steam it. Oh. So yeah, we'll finish those off in the oven, and we'll taste the ones that came out of the air fryer right now. So let's cut into one of these and let you take a look. Came apart nicely right there. Oh, I like that crunch. So perfectly cooked inside. I like the crunchiness of the cheese and the bacon on the outside. All right, let's give this a taste. I hope you absolutely. Fabulous. The crispiness at the top of that with the bacon and cheese. Mm-hmm. Yep. The bacon that's sticking out the top is cooked perfectly. The bacon down inside still a little tender, so if you don't like softer cooked bacon, you might have a bit of an issue with that. But it's still fully cooked. It's yeah, delicious. That's great. I think this is going to be added to the normal dinner rotation. I yep. like this one. Super easy. Beats doing it in the oven. Same amount of time in the oven mm -hmm. had really sad results. Right, those were ugly compared to these. Yeah, this is a winner. This is a good. <laughs> Make sure you guys try this one out. I think this turned out perfect. I agree. Well done. Yep. So do you guys enjoy the air fryer recipes? Let us know and we'll try and include some more. Yep. We don't experiment too much with the air fryer. We've done tater tots and right. burritos. Right. This is stuff you normally fry instead of right. cooking actual things like this. Yeah. So we're going to have to try some more of this. I have heard that cakes turn out pretty well in it. Yeah. So that might be something to experiment with. Yep. All right, guys. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Catch you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.